we are going to design this database we will create this database the database is represented by er diagram so this is the er diagram of a database and in this database we have around eight tables and these tables have you can see primary keys all tables have primary keys and also foreign keys you can see these tables have a relationship with another table for example this table have this relationship with this table so we will keep all referential integrity into consideration uh, if you look carefully at this here diagram these tables this row has data type num number that are not supported in my sql my sql database and uh, these are supported in oracle database and is this year diagram is meant for oracle database developers so for the same i will go to google and search for oracle live sql then you will get this website live sql.oracle.com click on it then click on start coding now we can also create this database in a mysql mysql database the only thing you need to do is you have to change numbers number to integer integers and where and care to integers so these are the minim minimal changes you can do if you want to design this uh, create this database in my SQL database so after creating here you need to sign up if you are if are if you are new or otherwise you can simply sign in so it is supposed to design first table first table and for that let us divide this let us divide this and then I will put this uh, image here in the right side so that I can see So in the first table we have table the table name is regions and we have two rows or two tuples for that I will use create table then table name regions first row is region underscore id and it's data type is number also it is set to primary key because you can see here this uh, key icon it, it states the primary key in yellow color you can see it to that we have region underscore name and its data type is where care 225 so let us try to run this okay the table has been created you can see here table created if you click on here and then you will get schema in this schema you can see all your table objectives database you just created so you can see here the regions table So this is the structure of table you can see it here so let's move to sql worksheet and create another table countries another table is countries so for it i will change regions to countries and then first uh, row is country id underscore id country underscore name 
and region id underscore id region id have number at it right this country name have where care 2 and it's 40 40 and country id have care 2 and this table have relationship with the previous table regions you can see the relation here so i can i will create this relation using foreign key foreign key and then this table this uh, region id name this uh, i mean this row region id underscore id and then references references to which table that's the previous table regions and inside this uh, regions table we have to mention which row that is also region id you can see here region id underscore id so let us execute this and see Okay, this has been processed this is a table created schema so the countries table have been created here you can see the structure so it is it's the structure here so let us move again back to SQL worksheet and create third table the third table is locations and in locations we have around uh, one two three six rows six tuples create table and then a table name locations first uh, table is location id location underscore id and its data type is number And it is set to primary key. You can see the icon key here. And then third, second row is street address underscore. And it's data type where care where care twenty five. Then. Postal code. Its data type is also where care. Where care two. Two well. I have written. I have written complete co SQL code for third table locations. You can see this has six uh, tuples. Location ID, state address, postal code, city, state, pro, underscore province, country ID, and it is and data types. Finally, what I need to do is I need to create a foreign key for this table because you can see this has a relationship with previous table countries and in this countries I have country ID tuple so its relation is with this table so for that I will use foreign key foreign key then current table row name that is uh, country id underscore id and references it references to countries table you can see here countries table countries and inside this countries table the tuple name row name is same country underscore id so i hope this will work so let's try to run this so you can see this says table created so let us create my now my fourth one that is a departments table for that i will edit this to save time i will edit this
variable name is depart departments and then it has four tuples so I have written a SQL code for a departments table it has four rows department ID department name manager ID and location ID in this table you can see this it has a relationship with a previous table you can see here the link with this table location so far that I will location ID is the column name location underscore ID and it references to which table countries no it references to locations table you can see here location locations and row name is location ID let us try to run this this column type in capable with reference to column name in, in this uh, table I forgot to change the data, data type you can see departments first to a row has number and then where care 2 and it's 30 then uh, this has a third one is a number and last one number so let us try to run it so this says table created so let's now create uh, this table employees and this has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 uh, tuples or 11 rows so I will edit this code the code for SQL code for employees table have written I have written the code for SQL for this employee table so let us try and run, run this and this says a table created now we have another one that is our jobs for that I will add this this code employees here is the SQL code for jobs table let's run it here you can see I have written the same column name it is max max salary here you can see when I try to run this SQL code this it is saying uh, no matching unique or primary key for this column list this is because you can see this table jobs have a relationship with the jobs ID have relation job ID have relationship with this table job employees and inside this and this column and job ID but you can see this uh, job ID is not set to primary key a foreign key always re refers to primary key in a elsewhere in other another table another table so because this is not set to primary key so we cannot create a relation relationship for this job ID so I need to remove this here and run this so this has been so table has been created here you can see here this says a foreign key must have must always reference a primary key elsewhere so this is we cannot create a relationship of this job ID with this job ID column because it is not set to primary key here I have written the SQL code for jobs history this job history have three foreign keys 
uh, if you you can see here and this is a department ID has relationship with the pre previous table departments and employee ID have relationship with this employees and third one is with jobs so I have written that three foreign keys here so let us run this here you can see this is a department but it's not department it is department ID so table has been created here so now finally we have the last one that is a jobs grade and it has no relationship with any other table so let's quickly run SQL write SQL code for this so I have written SQL code for job jobs grade it is a jobs grades okay same table created so the table has been created so I click on here and schema, click on schema you can see all the tables here so these are the all the tables that I created here finally one important thing I want to tell you is that if you have created all the tables but sometimes you forget to create foreign keys of any table so later you can use the alter table SQL query to alter the table and create foreign keys uh, for example let's say this employees table this employees foreign key and it this has a relationship with the, this table job history let's say I have I forget to create a relationship between these two after creating these two tables I forget to create foreign keys to make a relationship between these two tables uh, then I later I can use the alter table and then employees name that is this employees name table name then add corner straight words then job ID here you can see this is employee ID for that I will use employee ID and then foreign key employee ID it references to which table that is this job history so it references to job underscore history and inside this uh, table I need to mention which tuple so in jobs job history the tuple name is employee ID ID so I think this is perfect so later you can run this and uh, run this ex this uh, SQL code so you can see here this says in table alter so this is how you can create foreign keys or make a relationship between two tables using the alter table SQL code so thank you for watching this video.